Hello again, I'm back with our third project and I must say I think that I have saved the best for last. Um, I, as I mentioned earlier, I know some of you are not into Halloween, um, but I love Halloween. I think it's a fun time of the year and so I'm going to show you how to make this cute little uh, mummy treat. If you're not into Halloween, I want to point out that this same treat can be done using our Christmas set or you can even use the scarecrow from this set. The set that I'm talking about is the cookie cutter Halloween. I know you've seen it, it is hugely popular. Um, I think this is gonna be the top, this one and the, the coordinating Christmas one. I do predict these will be the top sellers in the holiday catalog this year. Um, it, there is a coordinating punch that looks like a little gingerbread man, and he is just super, super fun. So I chose to use the little mummy, that's what we're using. Um, I also want to tell you that uh, a while back I asked on our Facebook group if you guys had seen these. Um, and I got about 75% of you have seen these either at Walgreens, I got them at CVS, and you've also seen them at Dollar General. Um, they're a uh, hundred calorie, which I find funny. It's a chocolate bar. It's a hundred calories. And I found them in Snickers, Twix, and Milky Way. And they were 50 cents, which is a great price. So I don't have the full size one, but I thought this is a little mini Hershey's. And so in comparison, you can see it's bigger than the mini snack size. Um, but it's a, a full size Snickers would be wider and thicker like this. So um, that's what I'm using on the inside. If you can't find them where you are, just find something else to put in there. There's so many candies, even these would fit. In there you could just um, put a couple of them and stack them up okay so let's get started and to make our little mummy treat you're gonna need a piece of crumb cake that measures four and a half by five and a fourth now don't forget I have project sheets um, listed on our page telling you all the specific measurements and product numbers for these and if you place your order, if you're watching this video during our live event, um, if you place your order in the next three days, this is one of the, the make and takes you'll get for free. Okay, so four and a half, five and a fourth. We're gonna measure, we're gonna, I'm sorry, score the, this is the long side, the five and a fourth side. We're gonna score it at three fourths and at four and a half. Now all this, all these measurements will be on that project sheet, so don't panic. Now turn it, and this side we're gonna do one and a fourth, two, three and a fourth, and four, okay? All right, now, before we start folding it up, we're gonna do some cutting, and I'm gonna fold these just so you can kind of see where these are, because it might be hard to see in the video. I'm gonna first start, this is going to be the tab that we are going to put adhesive on, so we only need the long one, so we're gonna cut off the skinny ends of this tab okay now we need to make these corners at a diagonal and we're gonna do that for all these tabs so instead of cutting three times we're just gonna cut that score line out at a little triangle okay and it doesn't have to be perfect these are gonna be folded in and adhered so the reason why we're cutting off the corners is that it makes sometimes um, if you score off just a tad bit, if your paper is over even like a millimeter, it'll stick over the edge and it makes it ugly. So this is gonna prevent that. All right, so let's do that over here. Go through and cut these off at, at a little triangle. And the last one. All right, get all those out of the way. Now we're gonna fold all of these lines in. Our box is kind of a rectangle because that's what our candy is. I'm gonna put adhesive on our long, skinny tab and I'm gonna fold this over, matching it end to end. Should line up perfectly. Now we're gonna fold these guys in and put adhesive on one end. Use your fast fuse. Make sure I get that square where it's not gonna be right. Let's make sure, there we go. Push that down like that. All right, now let's put one of our candies in here. I'm gonna put the Snickers in there because if he sits out on my desk, I'm afraid he's not gonna make it to Halloween. It's gonna get eaten. 
All right, so now we're gonna fold that over. Now you can put a little glue dot. This is the side we want them to be able to open it, so we don't wanna put a ton of adhesive. But I'm just gonna put a little glue dot to hold it down until I'm done. All right, now you're gonna need several long pieces of very vanilla cardstock. And it just depends on how you wrap your mummy, how many you're gonna need. I've cut five here, that's probably too many. Uh, they are half an inch by 11 inches. And we're gonna take a Stampin' Sponge and some crumb cake, and we're going to ink the edges all the way down and here on the end, down, 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 like that. All right, so once you have those done, you're gonna get your Fast Fuse and run Fast Fuse all along the back side. Okay, and we're just gonna, let's, let's see, where do I wanna start? I'm gonna start here and angle it a little bit up, and I'm just slowly going to wrap, and wrap, and wrap, wrap our little mummy like that. All right, now we're gonna get a second one, and we're gonna overlap this one just a tad, like that, whoa, and continue on up our little mummy box. Uh-oh, my glue dot didn't hold. It's okay. Now, once we get over here, I'm gonna go ahead and trim it there, okay? Now hold on to that piece because sometimes you might wanna fill in some pieces that look like they need to be covered a little bit. All right, so I'm doing another one. Now this time, I'm going to start the opposite direction. So last time I went like this, so this time I'm gonna start over here and start angling down. And it's gonna kind of start to cover up a lot of that crumb cake box as I go. Just wrapping it, there's no wrong or right way. Remember, these are mummy boxes. They don't have to be perfect. Overlap right there. Well, for some reason I can't get that to stick. Maybe I didn't put enough adhesive. All right. Keep going around. Now I'm going to trim him right there. And I think this guy needs a little adhesive. And if I don't fix him now, he's going to annoy me. So let's go ahead and do it. All right. I feel like we need a little more here. So these little pieces that I have left, I can kind of fill in. Let's see. Wrapping them around. And I feel like maybe up here, what do you guys think? Up here like this. And I think that'll do the trick. Let's just trim that off. All right, so he's nice and wrapped up. Hmm, let's see which side did I, that's the side I stuck. Okay, now we're gonna take this. This is another new product. It is Craft uh, Rope Trim. And you can use it just like this, or you can get three pieces of rope out of one long piece, and it's really easy to pull apart. You just pull it right on out. And I'm gonna take it and wrap it up on that side that I put the little glue dot. I cut it a little bit long, it looks like. All right, we've got that. Cute, holding that down. Now let's do our mummy. Here he is. Um, if you're gonna use an aqua painter or a blender pen, normally I would say you need to use, um, I lost my train of thought, shimmer white cardstock or watercolor cardstock. But we're gonna just do some very light coloring. And I stamped him in crumb cake and that's not what we wanted, is it? Oh yes. Nope, we did basic black. Okay, let's do that again. Stamp him in basic black. The reason why you would normally use watercolor paper or shimmer white is because it would start to peel as you continue to rub your aqua painter on the surface. But 
Let's use the other end of this one. And we're gonna do just a little bit of coloring so it won't matter too much. Now I am using some crumb cake and I wanna go very lightly. I've squeezed the ink into the lid of my box and I'm just gonna slowly color in along the edges that look like they are the pieces on the top. You, when you look at him, you can see that some of the, just like our box that we wrapped, some of them are on top and some of them are on the bottom. And the ones that are on top are creating a little shadow above the ones below them. So those are the ones you wanna just with some light crumb cake, very, very lightly. It looks like I may have even gone too dark on some of these. Just do a little shadow there underneath the edge of the wraps on top. Go down and do all of those and keep it kind of light. Now, I also, keeping it light, just went along one whole side of his body to kind of create a light source. It looks like there may be a light coming from the right side. So the left side is more in shadow. All the way around blending it out and there you have him so not a whole lot of coloring not too painful he's easy now we want to put him in line him up and I'm gonna switch hands because that's why I have tennis elbow too. these punches squeeze him out and there you have him all right so now let's bring him over here we're gonna put him right on here with our dimensionals let's do two just to make sure he's nice and safe he's not gonna fall off before he gets to where he needs to be all right, now I'm going to use a sentiment from the Halloween scene. Is that what it's called? I pulled it out to use and I didn't put it back in the box. I showed you this page earlier. This stamp set, I cannot stop using. It's wonderful. It's got some great spooky Halloween sentiment. So spooky fun is what it's called. And we're going to use pumpkin pie. And on one of these little strips that I did not use, remember when I said hold on to those, I'm going to stamp this happy Halloween in pumpkin pie and then with your scissors just snip off about half an inch on each side and I like to use my small scissors for this and I'm going to cut a little snip and cut from each corner up to where I snipped in and I already inked this edge so we don't even have to do that it's already done yep, we did all that in the beginning and I'm gonna come over here and put a dimensional on him like that. And I'm gonna kind of put it over to the side because I used that bat that I was telling you about in the last project, that bat thinlet, to cut out a bat from this beautiful pumpkin pie glimmer paper, also new in our holiday catalog. And I'm just gonna get a glue dot, kind of bend him up and put him there on the edge. And there you have some cute mummy boxes. I think I'm gonna make some of these for the craft sale too. I think these would be good, about $3. I don't know, what do you guys think? And look, I used Trick or Treat here and Happy Halloween there, and I didn't even realize I used two different ones, but they both work. All right, I hope you guys have really enjoyed it. Remember, let me know if you have questions, check out those product sheets, and again, free make and takes all three projects with an order in the next three days. All right, bye-bye.